going on YouTube? King Reggie back on Madden 18. Today I'm bringing you the next play in my tray open offset. This play absolutely destroys every single coverage in the game. Let's get it. I bought it as Liddy again. Slide up in the tropic and Liddy again. All of my partners and Bobby, you know that we Liddy. All right, guys, back in tray open offset. Gonna bring the next play in this series. Absolutely loving this playbook right now. The last video we went over mesh. So the reason why that play was so good, from the trip side, you had a post going over the middle with two drags underneath. The next play we're going over is Y corner. A similar play, but now we have a Z route, a post coming from the single side receiver, two drags underneath, and a clear out. So it is a very similar play. Let's just take a look quickly at the play art on the field. As you can see, we got a, a zero coming from the backside. Then with all our adjustments, we're gonna get two drags underneath and a clear out route. Let's look at the play breakdown and go over it. So it is Y corner. The adjustments are we are gonna max pro, then we are gonna streak the inside receiver and then drag the middle receiver. When to call, very similar to the last play, mesh, prefer to call on first and second down, we don't really love on third and seven plus. Now guys, the first two plays are a first and second down plays. I have two really, really good third down plays later coming up. One of them is actually at a Y corner, just one adjustment to make this a wicked third down play. But the reason I like this on second, first and second down is because if it's third and long, the route we're trying to hit here would be the post route, the Z route. But if it's third and long, why would a user ever come down to the drag? He's going to let you take the drag for six, seven yards, rally to the ball, and he's never going to leave that post route. Whereas on first and second down, he's more likely to come off the post to a drag. And if not, we can take a drag and it's no big deal. Why it works, Z route has to be user covered. We have two check downs underneath. And the way we want to throw this is we want to always throw low balls to that Z route over the middle of the field. Our reads, check if user is dropping underneath of the Z route. Then we're looking for underneath drags. Then we're looking to playmaker up the field if they are covered. Defense, it works against. Z route will get open against any zone coverage unless user defended, user covered. What could give you trouble? A great user over the middle of the field with hard flats on the outside. This is the exact same that can play that can give mesh trouble. Guys, don't worry. We have a ton of plays that they cannot play hard flats against. It's when you have the mesh coming, when we have the mesh play, and then this play post coming from opposite fields, drags coming from different places, it makes it tough on the user. Then when you include the other plays that are coming up, the if you just ran these two plays, it would be pretty easy for a user to play it. Then you could just play hard flat. But with all the plays that we're going to be bringing to the table, you can't just sit in that. Um, the only play that gives you not a lot of trouble or any really trouble, but it's just you have to wait a little bit longer is cover two. The vertical hook in the cover two to the single side will actually sit on that zero a little longer. And you just have to wait for that zero to clear over top of him, low ball it under underneath of the safety so guys that is why corner let's run through this a few times so we have cover three right now we'll put them in cloud flats so how we want to run this we want to max protect we want to streak x and we want to drag r1 so we want to streak the inside receiver then drag the middle receiver this is cover three cloud flats let's go one time boom and I got knocked down at the line of scrimmage. You can see he's wide open. We will run it one more time. Hopefully we get some time in the pocket. Here we go. Looking for that zero over the middle of the field. Here we go. Low ball it right there. Stealing 15, 20, 25 yard gain. Let's look quickly. Cover three hard flats now. We are going to put all the same adjustments. If you guys ever need to go back. Go to that screen that I put up with all the adjustments. Tell you exactly how to run this play, guys. So we are max pro streak inside, drag middle. Now we are against cover three hard flats. As you can see, you're just going to wait right there. Low ball it, stealing 15, 20, 30 yard guys every single time. Okay, here we go, guys. Cover two middle linebacker in a deep blue. We are doing these same adjustments. And as you can see here, 
that linebacker with the M on his, over his head is actually in a vertical hook, which is going to give you a little bit more trouble than the hook curl in a cover three. So we just have to wait for him to clear. And because we have Olsen here who's not super fast, he doesn't clear it out quite as well as in ultimate team. I have Shannon Sharp who's going to clear this zone very quickly. So let's get some time in the pocket, hopefully, and fire this in right there. Boom. Right after he clears the vertical hook in front of the safety, low ball it in. Cover two, it's a tiny bit tighter. But honestly, guys, online, I find it gives me less trouble then in practice mode, it seems to give me a little more issues just against cover two. Let's go to cover four. Okay, guys, here it is. Cover four, drop show two. We got hook, curl, or um, cloud flats on the field, sorry. Exact same setup. Max Pro, streak, drag. This is going to get wide open over the middle of the field right there. Low ball, boom, right in front of the safety, guys. Guys, come in and just practice the timing of when to throw this zero if there is no user. You want to get right when they clear those linebackers, you're going to watch a user right when they clear those underneath linebackers, you want to low ball that in. Here we go, cover four against hard flats. Real quick, boom, clear out, drag, and then right there, fire it in for a low ball. Guys, this play gets open against every coverage. It absolutely destroys. These, this route has to be user guarded just like mesh, except now we're running it from the other side. Drag's coming up from the other side. We still have all our checkdowns, which we will show. We still have playmakers, which we will show with the game footage. Okay, let's look at the first clip. Okay, as you can see there, guys, it was first and 10. The guy's running cover three, and he sits in the middle of the field on those drags, and I'm able to just fire that low ball zero in for about 20 yards, guys. It is that simple. If they sit on the drags, look for the zero. As soon as it clears those other linebackers, fire that in there. It is going to be open. Okay, let's look at the next clip. Once again, user not playing the post route at all. He's sitting in the middle of the field. Then last second, he's like, crap. He finally locates the Z route, the post route. I call it a Z route. I don't know if that's what it's actually called. It looks like a Z, Z to me. That's what I call it. As you can see, it looks like a Z. I don't know what, that's what I call it. Doesn't matter. This route is going to get open. He notices it the last second. Tries to come off the crossing routes underneath to get there. It's too late. I fire that in over his head. Let's look at the next clip. Okay guys, on this one we actually have a D-line user. If this is your first time watching this channel guys, all the footage I get is either on All Madden First, All Madden Second String, or Weekend League. I believe these games were Weekend League. So sometimes you're gonna play really good guys, sometimes you get matched up with guys who aren't great. We got a D-line user here. And obviously this route is gonna be wide open because you have to use it. Okay, let's look at the next clip. Okay, here's actually against a man blitz. And I just wanted to show this, include this because here's a drag. If it's open guys, take a drag. You do not have to try to force it into those into those deep post routes. If the drag is there, take it guys. Here, Calvin Johnson beats his man. I'm able to spin out, get like 20 yards. Nice and easy, that's just stealing. That is just easy yards, take it if it's there. Let's look at the next clip. Here it is guys, the, it's in cover two now and I see the user starting to go back. He totally vacates the middle of the field. And that's also what you're gonna notice against cover two. Yes, it is a little bit tighter of a throw on that Z route, but the drags are gonna get wide open because that deep blue linebacker is gonna shoot out of there. And then if he plays the Z route, the underneath is gonna be wide open. Throw that little drag over the middle, take it up field, get 10 yards. Let's look at the last clip.
Okay, guys, so this was actually a really interesting coverage this guy went for. It looks like he actually mans up the zero, which is going to do a decent job on it. Then his user sits in the middle of the field and is sitting on the drags, but it's zoned on the backside. So we have a lot going on on this play. The post is kind of open, not really. So I could have forced that in. Eh. The drag's not really open. So now it's just a quick playmaker up the field into a wide open gaping hole. Throw it in there. Yeah, we throw it in there and we gain like 17, 18, 19, 20 yards. So guys, there's a whole bunch of options on this play, guys. Your first read, like I said, you were looking for that zero is going to be open against most coverages. Cover two, it's a little bit tighter for a throw. Cover three, it absolutely eats. Cover four is kind of in between that. But it, it will get open against every coverage. It's going to put the user in a really tough spot. Because now if you look at the last play, mesh puts the user in a really tough spot from the opposite side. So now they're looking at post both sides. Drags coming from both sides. Now you wait till we throw in all the other plays. And guys, users are going to be really in tough spots. There's three different plays. These two, another play, plus kind of another one. It's this play variation, but a cover three ver or a third down version I really like. All these plays absolutely destroy users. It puts them in really tough binds. And that is really how you beat defense in Madden. You want to put users in a tough spot because you, you can find plays that will get open against any coverage. These plays get open against every coverage. So the only way to stop them is a great user. Now, if you're putting users in a really tough spot, it is going to make it really tough on them, guys. So that is why corner, guys, a really, really good play that has given me a ton of success so far online. Like I said, all Madden first, all Madden second string, weekend league. That is how it works. Also, guys, like I said before, if you guys ever want to come back, come to this video, pause that screen, look on that whole play sheet, break down the reads, why it works, what play it works against, all that. Come back, pause it. You can look at this anytime. That's just a resource for you guys to use, guys. Thank you so much, guys. I've passed 200 subs now. It's just so freaking cool. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. The views, everything is just going crazy for me right now, like with YouTube. Like, in the last month, it's just been shooting way up. I'm so excited for Madden 19. Look out for the next video, guys. It is going to be this wide corner play, but a third down version. That I absolutely... And tune in tomorrow, Saturday. I will be live streaming a bunch of weekend league games. Probably play three, four hours. Please tune into that, guys. It means a ton. It makes my stream so much funner when I just have a lot of people in there commenting in the chat and everything like that. So, guys, that is how you run wide corner. This is Trey Open Offset. I am King Reggie, and I'm out.